Well, hello there and welcome. Um, this is my Nexus 5. The power button on my Nexus 5 is not working. Um, so if you're having the same issue and you're looking for alternatives on how to power on or off the screen of your Nexus 5, you came to the right place. My Nexus 5 is about two and a half years old um, and about a week ago it started behaving weirdly. I have activated the setting in which I, if I double tap the power button on my on my phone, the camera application um, just pops up, something like that. So about a week ago, the camera would start popping up every time I press the button once. Uh, I didn't know what was happening. I thought I was pressing it twice. I didn't pay too much attention to it. As it turns out, it is an early warning sign that your power button is about to ready to go. Uh, yesterday, my cell phone started powering on and off continuously. It never stopped. Uh, and I started searching the web and on the web they, they, they tell you that there are different ways. One way is brute force is hitting your phone on the edge of something. Not, not on the power button, just like this. So that you can get that button unstuck. Um, and once you get the button unstuck, it's a temporary solution. It might, be, it might hold for a day, two days, a week. But at the, at the end of the day, it's going to return again. Um, other solutions recommend um, without your cover on just looking at the at the at the button just with your tip of your nail or your, or your finger sort of rocking the edge like if you were doing like scratching like scratching the button to see if you can get it unstuck the last the last thing that they uh, the internet um, mentions is to open your phone going to the back and prying open the battery the, the back the back panel um, disconnecting some wires, opening the back, opening the, the back with a few screws, and then um, taking out the motherboard, which has the two, the, the power button and the volume buttons attached to it. And then with some isopropyl alcohol, you can go and um, and clean that. Try to see if you can get that button unstuck. All that is a temporary solution. And what I'm going to show you today is also a temporary solution um, to to the problem of of essentially managing how to turn on and off your, your cell phone without using the power button. I'm gonna to try to see if I can take it to a repair shop. Uh, we already know that the motherboard, it's sold out. They, they don't make them anymore. So if I take it to a repair shop, it's gonna be a lot of money to try to see if I can get that repaired. But anyways, I found out, let's go, to, let's go straight into the solution. Um, what happens if your screen is off? And here I'm gonna change the setting of my phone to timeout in 15 seconds so bear with me um, the screen is going to turn off but um, this cell phone has a, a magnetic sensor somewhere on here somewhere on this area which enables you when you have a cover that essentially flips on top of the phone that magnetic sensor right here would detect a magnet that would be embedded on the flap of your case and it would power the screen off and it would power the screen off when you close it and power the screen on when you when you have it, when you flip it out. So I tested it. Sorry, I tested it. Um, I tested it with a big magnet that I have. You know, I'm being cautious because this is a, a strong new neodymium magnet, but my screen is off. So, you know, if you swipe a magnet on, on that corner, it turns the, the screen on. Um, if, you help, if you hold the magnet close, it turns the screen off. So, you know, there will be like having the flap open, having the flap close, open, close. So taking advantage of that and knowing that I didn't want to carry this big magnet um, with me. I mean, I could put it on my pocket and maybe when, once I pull my phone off, um, uh, swipe it on, on, you know, on my pants or something. But I didn't want to carry that. So as a temporary solution, before I take it to a repair shop in the next couple of days, I glued a little magnet to a ring so I could, you know, to my wedding ring, so I could wear it, you know, um, in a second. So I could wear it on my finger, you know, nobody can, nobody knows it's there. But once I have my phone, I can just tap my screen and then power my screen on and uh, play, you know, do whatever I need to do with my phone. Um, once I'm done with it, the screen is going to go off on the 30 second, or 15, in this case, a 15 second timer. Um, 
uh, and that will be it. You know, I don't need to press the power button. I, there's, there are apps, there are apps that do something similar in which they use the proximity sensor of the cell phone or they use the gyroscopes of the sensor. But if you look closely at the reviews and what, this, uh, and what the app does, it does require a lot of weird permissions and it seems to collect a lot more data that I'm comfortable sharing with an app developer. So for now, my magnet, my little buckyball magnet glue to my ring uh, on the main time, you know, just does the trick. Uh, wait, it didn't do the trick right now, but it should. The, the magnet is not very strong, here we go. So that does the trick, I don't need to press my power button and for now it's, it's allowing me to use my phone to do calls, emergencies, or you know, whatever I need to do with my phone. So I hope, I hope that this, this video helps you. Um, and if it does, give, give a thumbs up, share it, and uh, be happy. All right. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good day.